Welcome to the Published Plot. I'm Nate. I'm Jessica. And I'm Mike. And today we're here with an episode that we've kind of been hinting at for some time now. Well, when we talk about the lesser known martyrs, it really suggests itself because there's a lot of martyrs on those lists. So, well, the lesser known saints. Having gone through almost a year now of lesser of, of lesser known martyrs, lesser known saints, saints. many lesser known martyrs. saints, many of whom are martyrs, mm-hmm. we've heard of a number of I, I want to say interesting uh, martyrdoms, a lot of grisly deaths. Yeah, but like a lot of ones that like there there are the ones that everybody knows about, right? Like crucifixion, mm-hmm. burning at the stake, beheading, you know. But there are being fed to lions. Um, but there are a number of ones that either because they haven't been used in so long or were used so rarely so long ago, Mm -hmm. or just because some of them are rather gruesome, they don't get a lot of play. You don't hear a lot about them in in your, in in your CCD classes. They're not pleasant to think about. I mean, if people have CCD classes, like, you know, a, a current leader of that, it's a nice, inspiring story that just happens to cut off five minutes before then they were then murdered. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm going to tell you this great story of faith of this young child. Well, like they, they tell they tell all the kids about Blessed Imelda. They leave <laughs> off the part where he should die is after receiving the Eucharist. <laughs> yes. Hey, but so, anyways, so we, we just thought that we would do you know some rankings of different martyrdoms. Okay, so we we haven't quite figured out, or did we figure out? How we're going to go about ranking these? I mean, are we going in order that we want them, or or in order of most interesting to least interesting? Interesting. That's a <laughs> look. <laughs> I, I mean, there's a lot of words I could use. I feel like all of them yep. would either fall short or or would go much further than I intended them to. Interesting is a nice, relatively neutral term. Yeah. Okay. Um, unique. Well, I mean, no, but oh no, because that's it. It only has to happen twice before it's no longer unique. <laughs> That's fair. What, what did Norm MacDonald say? Cruel and unusual punishment. Cruel is a matter of opinion, and it's only unusual the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we, we could rank them by like the ones we most wish to avoid? Okay, okay. okay. Like, what, what do you least want to happen to you? So what are your bottom five? <laughs> so, bottom All right. five. so since you can't see what we have in front of us here, perhaps we'll find, perhaps we'll find a way to put it up on the screen, but probably not, but... Since you can't see what we're looking at, we have a list here of, I'd say, about 20 different forms of martyrdom. Uh, and I'll give you the list, just so that way, you know, if you want to, like, keep track of your own votes as you go. As you go. Let's, let's just go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we'll, you know, then we'll after we've listed them in, all, we'll discuss. The, we'll fill in the blanks? Yeah. And, okay. All right, so, so... Working down to last, sort of like working, just, just, sort just of like, like working to the number one. Just, just, just start from the top, and we'll work our way down, and then after that, we'll see which ones jump out at us. Okay, yeah. okay, I see what you're saying. No pun of so, no, any like animal deaths. You know, number one on our out. number one on our list is technically like the first martyrdom. It's the OG. It is the OG martyrdom, crucifixion, either right side up or upside down. Sometimes on an X. Yeah. The Japanese crucifixions are weird. Okay, because they, they they put people up on a cross, but it wasn't so that they would then hang and um, asphyxiate to death. There was a, a a seat for your feet. Okay, but they would eventually then run you through with spears. Ah. I mean, awful stuff, but just I'm, different. I, I'm assuming it's because it was so far away that there was like a translational error in exactly how you crucify people. Yeah, well, they, they had no <laughs> cultural experience with this. Yeah. I kind of want to see... Everyone in the majority of Europe was like, yeah, we all know that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The Persians did this. We know. I'm kind of curious as to the effect of taking the cross mm-hmm. and tipping it so that it's on its side-ish. Mm. So you're, you're hanging. Yeah, yeah. So, so... Yeah. Like, like, the same Andrews yeah, yeah, cross. Yeah. You're still <laughs> hanging. You're just, you're like, pulling on one arm. As, you know. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't want to see it, but you know, I I'm, 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 I'm curious yeah. as to the 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 implica- the, the physical implications of such a thing. Well, and what we know is that normally it took a lot longer than it did for the Lord. They were genuinely surprised that he was dead after so few hours. So yeah. so so relatively few hours. Yeah, they did I mean, pregame on that one. Absolutely, <laughs> I mean, I, almost, Yeah, I, I feel like you know 
Why, why, it's nice and all that St. Peter was like, I'm not good enough to die the same way as Jesus. We're not Jesus. worthy. We're not worthy. By, by being upside down, I'm pretty sure he would like, you know, passed out from the, the blood to his head or something well before. <laughs> not <laughs> quite as blockheaded as one would think, St. Peter. I'm no so good. humble. Kill me much faster. <laughs> mm-hmm. So number two. I'm old and tired by this point. So that's, so number one, crucifixion. Number two. Uh, we have beheading, which could be a sword, it could be an axe, it could be a guillotine, mm. it could be something else. But yeah, yeah. this is this is very strictly speaking, removing one's head from one's body, decapitation. The, the means of mm. getting there is is reasonably speaking irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. Now it's it's a pretty grisly thing, no matter what happens, and it should be noted, despite its fearsome reputation, the guillotine was invented to be a merciful thing. Yes, and then there are some. Some more alternative me- methods, which can be far more gruesome, but we will not get into those because we like to be at least somewhat family friendly here. Mm-hmm. Well, and you know, it, it, just because you're about to be beheaded doesn't mean you have to lose your sense of humor. Like now, St. Thomas More saying, "Hey, hey, don't touch the beard. It didn't do anything." Now, <laughs> now on the upside, beheading, provided all goes according to plan, relatively quick and painless. A nominal beheading is a pretty swift death. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As opposed to number three. Burned alive. Although, if you remember back, Nate was like, oh, that didn't seem so bad. <laughs> <laughs> now, this, there's any number of ways you can be burned alive. You can be burned on a stake. You could be burned on a gridiron. In theory, you could be immolated, you know, Vietnamese monk style. To just. I mean, mm. I, I think... Possibly uh, one time we did one where they simply set the whole church they were in on fire. So, you know. That happens too. (laughs) Yeah. To me, this is, this is one of the ultimate nightmares. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of the burned alive. Like best case scenario, you're going to be relatively quickly overwhelmed by the smoke. By the smoke (laughs) and the the lack of oxygen as it burns all the air out of your lungs. But that, no, it's going to, it's really going to hurt. Yeah. Yeah, it is not, burning alive is, to my understanding, not a fun time. Mm. Uh, so number four, and, and I did not engineer it to work <laughs> out this way, but at the same time, I ain't mad. <laughs> it's like it was destined. This one has a fancy Latin name. Ooh, Poena Cule. Cule. That almost sounds pleasant. That almost sounds nice. Yeah, yeah, sounds nice, right? Poena Cule. But way to go to you two. It, it stands for penalty of the sack. Ah. Or as we like to call it here on the, uh, or as we most often like to refer to it here on the published plot, the sack, sack snake and Z. Z. No, no. The, the animal <laughs> is optional, although in some times of history, there was a set list of animals. And sometimes like, like. We, we've largely discussed it when it was the ancient Romans, yeah. but apparently the Germans still technically had it in the books up to like the 1500s. So occasionally mm. it, would, it would call for animals they didn't have and they like drew a sketch of it and threw it in their book. <laughs> so, 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 what are we going to do if we don't have any scorpions? Yeah. So the animal is optional. That's where the band came from. Uh, the sack, the sack is modifiable as, as, as I do believe we, we've heard of some where they were put in a box. Yeah, we will totally accept being locked in a chest. In a mm-hmm. chest chest mm-hmm. essentially mm-hmm. however it turns out you are put into a container which is not entirely airtight and from which you are it is, it is reasonably incapable you are reasonably in, incapable of escaping it's certainly not watertight and you're going to be enclosed in there with some kind of animal or as we just learned representation <laughs> of an animal but in either case you are in a thing you cannot get out of, and you will be thrown into a thing of, of which you cannot live inside of. I, I will say, as we go through the Lesser Known Saints, this often wins a lot of points for just being exotic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What kind of animal was put in the sack with them? What kind of body of water were they thrown into? Yeah, I, I think there was one where there was like a badger that was thrown yes, in with them. Yes, a badger. There was also one, it was a bag of scorpions. <laughs> of course it was. Of course why it wouldn't was. It be? Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> All right. Badger. (laughs) Number five. So, welcome back with part two. And remember, as always, until next time, to live your faith. Love your faith. Share Share that that love. love.